doesn't do a whole lot. But we'll see. If it knocks the storm down, it may just make a tangled up mess of this. We'll see what happens. Especially where there's no vegetation, it definitely turned the soil over. See how loose that is. Almost like we got rows in here. This is all weeded. See how weedy that is there. It definitely knocked the short weeds down. I was curious to see what do this corn. I was thinking it would wrap up in there. It looks like it's knocking it down. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just go over this I'll probably have to go over the the whole garden quite a bit As you can see it flattened everything down and it definitely loosened things up got much soils loose in there I think it's the perfect time to disc it's uh it's dry on top and there's some moisture in the bottom but not too much see how bricks burp should be good. We got these tomato vines. Yeah, there's tomatoes in there. Well, tomatoes coming up next year. Uh, they're just getting kind of rotten. That's it. I'll we'll take a look down here. This part of the garden we had, we didn't plant anything. But uh, there we go. See, I made a path through there. I'm gonna go over this probably 20 30 times and see what it should be just dirt chop these weeds up clean it up and then I'm gonna plant my cover crop for winter
that this can work that pretty good. Got most of those weeds knocked down and uh, soil tilled up a bit. I have to come out here and pick some more rocks. That's some big ones. It always brings up more rocks when you till the ground. There's uh, what's left of tomato vine. There's some more. There's some heavier vines in here. Probably. See, it chopped them up pretty good. So, I could probably plant into this the buckwheat and everything. Here's where that corn was. Look how chopped up that corn is. It's chopped up pretty good. This area had some short weeds, and that's pretty much just clear note now, except for a tomato vine dragged over there. Looks good. So that actually worked out pretty good. Let's see, it's a little green in here yet, where the corn was, and then where the weeds kind of took over. Still, there's some beets. There's some the beets we didn't pick. Here's we had a row of beets here. So there's a few we missed. Uh, but it's pretty good along the edge here is still a little weedy. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh I'll let this all die down for a day and I'll come back over it again tomorrow. Till it's some more. Here's some beans. Those leftover bean plants. Those are real beans right here. Two rows. And uh, yeah, but I'm pretty happy with that. I'd say uh, let that dry down. Let the weeds die down a little more and then come over. This get a little more. This will be all ready for planting. I'm gonna plant all the way up to this pole here. I think that's about 150 to maybe 200 feet in the garden. So this did a pretty good job on it. Couldn't get through here because it's a big stump. Big old stump there with a there rock pile. So I'm pretty happy with that. I adjusted the, uh, the front disc slightly lower than the back disc. So we do some chopping and cutting. Pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go get something to eat. I must have went over this about 20, at least 20 times, just going back and forth on it. 